Welcome back to the Wake Man channel. If you're interested in supporting this channel, you can head on over to wakeman.com and check out all kinds of merch options like this hat I'm wearing. There's also all kinds of other ways to support the channel in the description below, um, links and discount codes and things like that. So check that out. All right, so Anthony over at The Better Boat reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a review of some of their products. So I've got those products right here. So one of the things I wanted to try out was this fabric waterproofer. Um, so I will be trying that out. Uh, and then I've also got the leather cleaner conditioner. So for cleaning the interior of the boat, um, I've also got this wax sealant and this is actually a ceramic technology. So I'm kind of curious about how that's going to go. You can also see that they have boat erasers. Um, so here's, here's one of them and you can see it says boat erasers there for remove, removing marks from vinyl, fiberglass, plastic, wood, and glass. And this thing's pretty massive. Uh, so I would definitely warn you against using boat erasers or, or that type of product very often on your vinyl uh, because it, it can uh, remove the protective layer off of your vinyl, uh, especially if your boat's pretty new. Um, but uh, there are certain applications where I do think it works pretty good, especially spots on the gel coat. And I have some of those spots on my gel coat that I'm gonna share with you today and I'm gonna try that out on it. If you're interested in purchasing any of these products, you can check out the website, uh, betterboat.com, or you can check out the links in the description below to these specific products. So what you're gonna see me do right now is I'm gonna first take this boat eraser and go around to a few spots um, that I know of where uh, I want to make it look a little bit better um, because there's a little scuff or a, a little minor scratch or just some sort of mark. And then I'm going to apply that wax sealant. Um, and then I will also apply this fabric waterproofer uh, to my boat cover and the bimini. The leather cleaner conditioner, um, I will show you in a later video um, when, my, when I'm ready to do a cleaning on the interior of my boat. All the other three products I'm gonna show you right now and I'll provide some follow-up feedback on how well I think the wax sealant worked because I'll be wiping down my boat after I get it in the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some of this stuff. Okay, so first I'm just gonna show you a couple of the marks that I wanna try taking out with that boat eraser. Here's one right here. Um, this is just a little scuff mark from the uh, cover. So I'm not sure how well you can see that. Yeah, you can see that good. Um, there's another mark right here, uh, kind of a blackish mark. Uh, I'm not sure what that's from, but I'm gonna try to get that off. Uh, and then, Another scuff right here. This one's not nearly as bad, but I bet that'll come off pretty easy. So just a little stuff like that. There's another one back on the other side of the boat here. I wanna see if I can, I wanna see how well it takes care of. Um, this one might be hard to see. So there's these scratches right here, um, or scuffs that I wanna see if I can't get out um, with the boat eraser. So I'm gonna try out those few spots. All right, so it's definitely looking better, but I'm gonna go at it for a little bit longer on that one. You see me going across this whole thing. Um, that's because I, there are actually lighter marks from the cover uh, across here too. So I'm just going a little further. Yeah, I pretty near got it gone, uh, but it's I can still faintly see it. So, I mean, it's already doing a pretty dang good job. Um, so it just depends on how perfect you want it to be. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I mean, it's, it's very, very faint now.
Okay, so I, I finished up this spot right here, which you can barely see it right there, but I mean, I pretty much, I did as much as I care to do. Um, same with that spot up there. The spot underneath on the back, uh, I think that scratch must be a little bit too deep. It's not very deep, but just a little too deep for our, an eraser product. Um, I think you'd have to do some polishing or even wet sanding to get that out, but it's in a really inconspicuous spot and um, I barely noticed it the other day when I was cleaning it. So it wasn't a big deal. None of these spots are things that I'm really worried about. Um, I just wanted to try out that eraser. Um, so what I would say is um, it did kind of haze this area up. Um, so it kind of took the sheen off of it um, just a little bit. Uh, you only notice it when you look at it at certain angles. Um, and so I came back and actually polished that to get it to, back to glossy. Um, so I probably won't be using it for my dark, dark areas of the boat, so the black areas, um, but it worked amazing up here. I mean, it literally took that little black spot that was right here off in like a matter of seconds. And I, uh, I did try cleaning that uh, my normal way with uh, just, just my vinegar and, and water solution and a rag um, the other day and it wasn't coming off at all. So uh, I think uh, what I would say is uh, these, these erasers, like kind of they've always been, um, are great for uh, really light areas on your boat, getting dark marks off um, or uh, and also getting bug tar off, getting the rub marks from the bumper up in the front off. Um, uh, there are certain things in the interior of the boat that it's great for. Um, this eraser, uh, I would say, is really, it, compared to other erasers I've used, is a really nice big and stout one. Um, it, it Usually they wear out pretty quick. Um, you can see that's where I was rubbing right there. Um, but uh, it's, it's really holding up for a while. So I would say it's a really good uh, premium eraser product. Okay, so now I'm going to try out this uh, wax sealant. Just get it applied. Um, so this one actually has an interesting uh, technique of application. Uh, it actually tells you to uh, basically just to spray down or mist the surface really good and then to immediately uh, hose it off is what it says. I'm going to spray this on and then I'm going to immediately spray it off with some water, which I think is just a really odd way to apply it. But we're going to try it out and then I'm going to see how it works out at the lake. So I'll probably come back a few hours later and then I'll, I'll wipe off any excess water if there are like water spots left behind or something like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this going. I'll probably just do a time lapse on this. I use the whole bottle. I have my thoughts about this. I, I'm really, it really kind of seems like I don't know if it's really doing anything, but I think uh, we'll really know when uh, I go to wipe it down the next time. When I go to the lake, which you're going to see here in a moment in the same video, I usually wipe down my boat with a 50-50 vinegar water uh, solution um, and just a towel. Um, I've been using a chamois lately uh, and uh, this time I'm not going to use that solution and see how it goes. So uh, and just, just wipe it down with the chamois. So we'll see how this works out. I'm also gonna cover this fabric waterproof product. 
And they also have this leather cleaner conditioner for the interior of the boat. The last trip that we went out, um, there was a lot of mayflies and uh, those things just kind of sit on water and then you end up smashing them on your boat. So I do have several areas where I can use this to clean that up and see how it works. And I'll also try it again later on in the season when I do a, a good full cleaning, probably right before I sell this boat. So what I'm gonna start off with here is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some waterproofing. I've actually got the bimini set up. I'm not sure if you can see that. I've got the bimini out. I'm gonna spray this stuff on top of the bimini. I've got it set up to where I can pull it down and get to it really good. Um, I've got the cover on this way so that I can get in the boat, but it, it talks about not spraying it on stuff that you don't want it on. And I actually do have a rag that I'm gonna use in case I get it on something I don't want it on. Um, so I'm going to put this uh, fabric waterproofer on the bimini, on the top of the bimini, and I'm also gonna put it all over the cover. Um, so I'm gonna show you doing that. And then when I'm all done putting it on uh, and it's dry, I will do a water test. I'll, I'll throw some water on it and see how it beads away or whatever it's gonna do. So I'll set up the camera and let you watch me do the waterproofing. All right, so I got the bimini sprayed. Not sure how well you guys could see that, but um, you can kind of see the spray sprinkles. And it says to basically let that sit. Um, I didn't spray it on the leather areas because uh, I think that's already pretty much waterproof. So it's just on all the cloth areas. Um, so it's, I'm supposed to just let that sit and dry. So what I'll do is I'll put the cover all the way on after this dries, and then I'll do the whole cover as well. But while I'm waiting for this to dry, um, I think I'll go ahead and clean some of the interior spots with the other product. Okay, so now I'm going to use this leather cleaner conditioner on some of those bug smash spots. Um, just kind of do some spot cleaning because uh, the boat's not really not filthy. It's just got some of those little smudges here and there and just gonna see how that cleans it up. First, I'm gonna show you a couple of the smudges I'm gonna work on um, and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like after. I'll try to show you while I'm cleaning it as well. Um, but there's several, several smudges like this. Um, from the bugs right there uh, on the seat there's a bit of a smudge there there's one right there though a good one uh, and if you come over here there's a couple of really good ones right there just from getting smashed in behind the seats um, along that line right there so I'm just gonna try to find all those that I can and just spot clean with this product May as well just do the whole seat. <laughs> well, so far so good. That I cleaned that up pretty nicely. May as well do a little dusting while I'm here. Easy peasy. I'm just gonna do a quick rub down while I'm here. On the spots that get sat on all the time. Just kind of condition them. Not sure how well you're gonna be able to see the floor, um, but uh, see if I'll just point them out. So there's a spot there, spot there, spot there, spot there, spot there. A couple of random spots, and not sure how well this product will do on the on the sea deck. So we will find out really quick. It's actually leather conditioner, so I don't think I would typically use this on here. So I'm kind of curious how this is gonna turn out. We'll see. So for the C-Deck, although I would say it probably helped a little, 
Um, I don't think it's the best product for a C deck, but it's not, it's not what it's meant for, so I didn't really expect it to be uh, great on that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try it out, and uh, it definitely helped a little bit. I have different products that work a lot better for a C deck. So anyways, yeah, it's, it seems like a pretty good product for the for your seats, and I think mainly a really good conditioner for making your seats and your vinyl last for a long time. All right, so I've given it overnight for this to dry, and uh, I've got a bucket uh, with some water in it. Um, I'm just gonna toss it right on here to see how it works out. That's always the cool part of testing products like this out, so I'll go ahead and set you up so you can watch. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> okay well that was different than i expected um i thought it would just kind of beat up and roll away um, but as you can see it uh it actually kind of soaked in um so i don't know i'm sure that that's that product is probably still really good for your cover um but uh and maybe i needed to put more product on i i uh i did i thought i put a lot on but anyways, there's the results. All right, so it seems as though Better Boat makes some good products for cleaning your boat. So obviously the, the quick wax kind of sealant ceramic hybrid, um, I think that would be best for boats that are really light in color. Uh, although it's been doing a really good job of repelling water and uh, and whatnot, um, it uh, it does show some spots on really dark uh, colors. Um, but otherwise, overall, they're they're pretty good products. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for their products if you want to check them out. But that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts on this video or ideas for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you can be notified of my future videos. I'll see you next week.